Hi, I'm very pleased to invite you to join me on a round the world journey. We are on a quest to make augmented virtual reality available, accessible and affordable for everybody on the planet. So we have last week, we traveled to Japan and today we're going to travel to the newest country in Europe. Uh, you know what it is? It is actually Kosovo. Uh, Kosovo is located in Eastern Europe, in Balkan, and I'm very pleased to take you there today. First of all, we have a very good partner there, uh, UBT. It's a famous university in the region. Um, and you can see here to the left, Edmund. Edmund is the rector and founder of this university. And he and I are very proud to establish an augmented virtual reality cluster center that's focusing on augmented and virtual reality. And we share both the passion and the vision to do so. This picture shows him together with our expert trainer that is traveling also around the world to certify teachers in this uh, interesting technology. Uh, so first of all, let me just start by saying that uh, not only have we introduced this to the university, but we also have deployed this to 1.8 million people visually in uh, a television show that is quite famous in the region. And they, as you can see from the image, many people had a chance to first time experience how you can run this from a tablet or a phone. Let's watch. So, I don't speak Albanian, so I'm not sure that we can uh, see this, but I'll jump a little bit to see what we were doing. So we were doing both markerless demonstration of the platform and using big markers for some of these. And we are using virtual reality, augmented reality, and mobile. And always running for a very small phone. So this small, small phone could encompass the big room. And you can see here, we also moved on to a tablet and demonstrated this for people. And also motivating students, because our plan in Kosovo, together with the government and the prime minister's office, is to roll this out to everybody all the schools, so make it really available, affordable, and accessible for people to leapfrog with respect to knowledge around the world. Okay, so then of course we start rolling it out. And this is some output from the AVR platform sessions that we had, where we certified teachers um, in this area. And you can see the objectives of the session were achieved, the majority, vast majority of people either strongly agree or agree. Likewise, uh, the session was very relevant and very useful. And let's hear directly also from what the various teachers and students said. Very effective communication platform. That was a direct comment from the teachers. They really liked it, uh, both on the desktop, on the mobile, and on the headsets and AR glasses. Now I understand the newest development. That was another comment we received. Everything was clear. They really like this application for biochemistry, for example, but they're gonna launch it. It's interesting. This is not gonna sit just in a center, one location, monolithic. It's distributed throughout all the departments, throughout the university. And the university serves as a test bed for the country. So um, let's hear a little bit what they are saying more here. say in general that training was very good, very helpful, and it explained everything, how we can use the platform, how we can create lessons, and ma many other things. We also get certified for free. Uh, my opinion in general is very good because the, the things, how they work and how they can be organized are very helpful. 
I mean for the for the AVR platform in general. Also the creator AVR and the AVR platform it will be very helpful for staff and students because it will bring a new way how things can be how the knowledge can be shared and how the new things can be learned from each other. Also the usage of platform to to create new lessons for students and prepare the lessons, collaborate with them, share with them and make uh, such kind of uh, like uh, quizzes and other things, it's very helpful. It will be very inter interesting I think for staff and students. So I am looking for more uh, collaboration and for more implementation of everything, including the uh, VR, uh, including the VR, uh, uh, how to say, the, the VR uh, devices, which will help and make uh, make learning more interactive, more interesting. So I think it will be accepted very good, uh, very very good. By uh, staff and students and everyone who, who will who will participate mm. in work. On that. So I'm looking forward for more col collaboration, mm. as I said. And mm. uh, thank you very much. It was very very good uh, training and very interesting for all of us. Excellent. So there we heard uh, some comments, and uh, you know I've been to Pristina. This is the capital. It's a beautiful city, um, and what better to end this session than to hear from one of the teachers uh, from Pristina. It's Christmas time there. Um, and what she thinks about this uh, with regards to student implementation. Hi, I am Krenora Pirevanucci. I'm a lecturer in computer science in UPT Pristina, Kosovo. I have been part of a training held from Nicole and Ridvan in the APR platform and I am very excited how we will bring the platform to our students. We are very happy that we will be the leading institution to offer the VR and ABR in the education. Greetings from the newest country in Europe, Kosovo, and the most innovative institution, UBT. And with that, uh, we are ending the um, session with respect to Kosovo. And next stop is Spain and not any location in Spain, but we're going to go to Canary Islands, so beautiful islands uh, that are known not only for leisure, but also they have a very vibrant technical vocational training community among the islands. And I'm very excited to share that during the next session. Thank you so much.